Okay, this time it's not my fault, I swear. Big bass. Two big bass. God, those are some tanks. I'm out here on the lake right now. I, I finally made it. It's, uh, I think it's like 12 p.m. Nice, nice afternoon bite that we're gonna be getting on today. Like I said, I plan on getting out at 5 a.m., but because the weather didn't permit and because I fell back asleep at eight, um, things just didn't work out. So, actually the conditions are kind of like what they would be in the morning. It's overcast, a little bit of breeze. So I think I'll be able to catch a few today. I'm targeting bass strictly in the morning and then in the afternoon I'm gonna probably reconnect with Brett and fish with him. Also, this is, this is Brett's boat. It's not even really my boat. So, huge shout out to him for letting me borrow this, uh, this little rig. All right, I'm approaching the first stop right here. It's a nice little rocky, uh, I'd call that like a little mini point. Brett said to try here for smallmouth, or at least this area, and then in the back of that, there's like some pads and some good stuff I can toss a frog in real quick. I'm so incredibly excited, guys. I just wish I would've gotten out earlier, because uh, I don't know, I just like getting an early start. I have no clue how much battery this has in it. We used it yesterday, and I'm sure some of the battery was being used with the build, so this should be interesting. Oh, and I just, sorry, Brett. Um, I didn't, buddy, I didn't mean to do that. First lure I think I'm gonna start off with is a drop shot, uh, which, by the way, folks, I guess I don't even have. Did I not bring my drop shot rod? It's at the, it's at the launch. Okay, um, that's okay, that's okay. Am I really that dumb? I'm a little worried now. I feel like I should go back. I think I should go back, yeah. I think it'd be dumb just to not go back. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back because I need that rod and I don't want it to get stolen. My rod wasn't at the dock which makes me kind of feel better. Okay, it's in the car, thank God. At least I didn't just leave it hanging. I guess that's half good, but I still forgot it and I really wanted to use it now. And yes, I know that parking job is freaking horrible. Okay, cool, I got the I got the drop shot rod. Now we're ready to actually film and fish. Three, uh, <laughs> five hours later, I think I'm actually ready to do some fishing. Okay. There's one. About time we hooked up. Oh, there's one following it. And when that fish came up, there was another one right behind it. Chubby little largy on the drop shot. Not a terrible fish to start off the day with. Fat, look how fat he is. He's been eating all kinds of junk. See you later, man. I'm gonna try a bigger worm. See if a bigger worm has any effect on these fish. Just like that. People think that you're gonna miss a lot of bites, which, I mean, sometimes you are, but you really gotta let them eat it. And that really is kind of a big hook even. Even with a worm like that, I like throwing really small hooks. No joke, really small hooks. There he is. On the big worm. Oh, look at that. So you upgrade with the big worm and you get big fish. Come here, come here, come here. Okay. Wow, ate it good too. See, that's how crazy it is. You throw like a seven inch worm with a little tiny hook and they get hooked all the way back there. I mean, that means that that worm was like jammed in his mouth. Nice little fishy. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate it. So right now I'm kind of positioning myself parallel to the bank. The back end is in the deeper side and of course the front end is in the shallow side and I'm casting along that deep edge where there's some rock, there's a little bit of brush and I'm just slowly working it over anything that's down there. So I think that's what these fish are relating to and that's why I'm catching them over here. It's not like a freaking fireworks show, but at least I'm getting bit, which is good. Especially after a big rain like this, sometimes that can make the fishing kind of funky. I'm stuck, but I've got a fish on. No way. That's crazy. Oh, it's a smallie. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was stuck on a, uh, a rock and this guy was biting it. Whew. I have not caught a smallie in quite some time. Brett said to come over here and try for the smallies. Well, I found one, Brett, but they're, uh, they're not exactly massive, or at least the ones I catch aren't massive. I'm sure there's some toads down there. All right, see you, dude. Just broke off again. Well, shoot. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, that's a freaking toad, too. Stay down. God, it's been pretty silent for quite some time. Good thing I, I broke the silence with this absolute Mondo. 
be careful now. Gosh, don't break the line. <laughs> Whoa, folks. We have ourselves a genuine Illinois donkey. This is really what it's all about, guys. Just getting out here and putting on a freaking clinic. Somehow I was blessed with these flare fish today. I don't know what I did to deserve this. Good fish though, real good fish. Okay, see ya buddy, thanks. For nothing. <laughs> a fish is better than no fish though. I will take that all day. If I don't have a freaking follow through and if I don't get like a 10 pounder in this cast. Dude, a fish just blew up there. Are you kidding me? I give up. I give up. Guys, I'm putting all my gear on eBay tonight. Or just kidding, eBay sucks. I'm putting it all on Amazon tonight. I hope you guys heard that blow up back there. It was massive. I'm pretty sure a, a, a five pound bass ate a duckling. And I'm over here with a freaking twiddle stick trying to get dinks to bite my drop shot. I don't know what is going on right now. How'd you do today, John? Oh, uh, you know, I did pretty good. Donated about uh, $30 worth of drop shot gear. Saw some fish blow up too. Oh, really, did you catch any of them? No, I just watched them blow up. That was about it. Oh, was that a bite? Mondo. Oh, there he is again. Oh yeah, decent fish. <laughs> That's the fish I call decent fish. Dude, these dinks will destroy, look at this. They will destroy your drop shot. It's not even possible to throw a drop shot when you're catching dinks like this. I went from having eight pound test to two pound test in a matter of seconds because of this little squeak McGee. You know, I could be that guy to just throw you in a bucket, but I'm not. I want you to grow big and healthy because next time I come here, I want to catch you when you're eight pounds or I'll just catch one of your babies. <laughs> Golly, get up here. There we go, that's a decent, not so decent. That's a, that's a pretty solid fish right there, actually. That was on a little wobble head on the end of a lay down. Nice. Oh, that feels good. It's been real, real quiet for the past couple of minutes. There we go. Oh, God, that's sexy. Look at that. We're on the bottom, folks. Is that a fish? Yes, it is. It's a bass. First cast in this laydown. That is... Oh, I was going to say that's a good sign. Well, it is still a good sign. There's one. Whoo! The wood is holding the fish, and they're absolutely digging this this wobblehead. I'll take that size. That's a that's a decent little largey. Fat. Look, how f these fish in here are so incredibly healthy. They were this healthy last time I fished it too. I bet you were eating craws, weren't you? Stinky little dude. You smell bad. See ya. Come out of there. No, no. You guys saw that, right? Son of a gun. Missed another one. These fish in here are wily, dude. Especially around this wood. When I'm fishing wood like this, really the lightest I'll go for fluorocarbon is 17 pound test. Sometimes I'll even do 22 if I'm fishing like some ridiculous stuff. I mean, this is pretty, this is pretty ridiculous. I mean, look at that. That's, that's some gnarly stuff. I'm basically just gonna grind it out for another hour or so. Then I'm gonna meet up with Brett and then we're gonna change gears and target some tiger muskie and then maybe mix in a little bit of bass fishing as well. There's one. Ooh. He ain't bad. Right at the roof of the mouth. Look at that. He's got a bug out. Look at his eye. He's got a weird looking eye. Another fish on the wobble head. I haven't gotten that big and I'm looking for it yet. Maybe that'll be an afternoon bite. Brett did say that the afternoon bite's way, way, way better than any other uh, time of the day to be out here to fish for musky and uh, bass. There's one <laughs> on the drop, on the drop, dude. They hit it so hard. Oh, that's a tank. <laughs> Better than nothing though, man. You just got to think about it. You could be out here getting skunked, but at least you're getting bit. That's all that matters. I, I basically think my biggest mistake or my biggest flaw today was focusing too much on the drop shot and not enough of the wobble hood, which really seemed to pull through for some of these fish on the wood. First half of Today is pretty much over. I'm gonna head to the marina now, pick up Brett, and we're gonna sling around some some musky lures. Try to catch a sclunge. Had a pretty good start of the day though. I mean, figured out a little bit of a pattern at the end there. It wasn't awful.
Yet again, the muskies are not cooperating. We're gonna we're gonna switch over to bass now. Um, gonna throw some worms, some shaky heads, all that good stuff. Still not over. The day's still not over, so there, there could be a good chance that we get into some decent fish, whether it be musky or bass here in a bit. But regardless, it's a beautiful day to be out here. I mean, this is like this is like prime fall summer transition weather. It's just like perfect temperature. Oh man. One tap and he was on. Fat little dude. Nice. Man, seen about eight of your brothers today, bud. I thought for he was a smallmouth for a second. It's kind of dark. Oh, you got to be kidding me, dude. I did not expect that. I was looking at those pads thinking I'm probably going to get a bit over there. And I'm... Meanwhile, I just got trucked. How time I caught one on this frog. That is not a terrible fish right there. Man. Look how that fish ate it. Gosh. Day is uh, slowly ending. Finally got a solid fish here. Cracked him right in between those two big rocks on the frog. There's so many on the frog today, so this feels good. Gonna get him back in the water. Healthy, healthy, two pounder. Nice. That sucker is God. See you, man. So we're out here ending the day pretty much on just a flurry of some of the world's fattest 12 inch fish I think I've ever caught in my entire life. They're still feeding, which is pretty interesting. Like big craws and it's kind of a decent way to end the day to be truthful. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he's got it. I think it's a largey, dude. Or what is that? I don't know what it is, dude. Oh, it's a big bass. Yeah, give me that nut. <laughs> God, he crushed it. Nice, man. Nice, dude. Last minute. Super epic. No joke. The marina's right there. We were so close to just heading in. Decided to fish this. Last minute stop, I get annihilated on the Whopper Plopper. Oh my God, that's a decent fish. I'm sure you heard it on the GoPro. You can't really see much on the GoPro, but here he is. Yeah, not a bad large mouth right there. Oh, I'm getting all my gear wet. Solid, solid largey. Whew, look at that. I'm gonna get a quick picture, then put him back. Going back for the release of this nice fish. Gosh, that was crazy, out of freaking nowhere. Big ol' head. There he goes. Wow. Okay, I'm not gonna bring the camera inside the restaurant, but you guys have to see, you guys have to see this bus. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but that bus is, uh, that's crazy. Is that illegal? Is that illegal? Yeah, to take a picture of, of his bus? If it is, then life is just worse than I thought it was. It's like a school bus. Right? No, it's not a school bus, that's for sure. 